Amelia. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, His Excellency, the Regional Secretary of West Java Government, Bapak uh, Setiawan Wang Saat Maja, Her Excellency, um, the Head of West Java Investment Agency, Ibu Nonoy Komaranengsi, and also all of the uh, distinguished uh, guests and um, attendees in this event uh, that cannot be mentioned uh, one by one. Um, first of all, I would like to um, express my gratitude, especially to um, the West Java Investment Agency and also the Bank of Indonesia Regional West Java. Thank you so much for the oppor opportunity to us uh, to present, to speak here today in this occasion. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Anandas Cimunggaran, and I'm the Investor Relations Manager of uh, PT Bandar Udara International Jawa Barat. Um, our company is uh, responsible for uh, constructing and also managing the Kertajati International Airport and, and Iro City. All right, uh, before I start the presentation, I would like to um, invite you to know more about our company. So uh, I will invite you to watch um, about the uh, video profile of our company. Please. Indonesia is an archipelago that lies across the equator from Sabang to Merauke, where Java is the most populated and developed island. The island has a famous province known throughout the world for its unique culture, natural resources and beautiful landscapes, namely West Java. At the eastern part of the province lie down an uncovered gem called Chiayu Majakuning which stands for Cirebon, Indramayu, Majalengka and Kuningan. It has one of the best multimodal connectivity in the country to support integrated land, train, sea, and air transportation. Initiated by enthusiasm to independently build and develop airport and aero city in West Java, the government instituted a regional-owned enterprise called PTBIJB to develop and operate the airport and aero city which is located in Kertajati, Majalengka, West Java. Kertajati International Airport and Aero City has been tremendously connected with other big cities by highly anticipated toll road called Cisumdawu Highway as far as 60 kilometers that can cut down travel time from Bandung to Kertajati by only 45 minutes. Covering 1,800 hectares of land, Kertajati International Airport is the second largest airport in Indonesia and projected to become the main gateway of West Java hosting domestic and international passenger and also cargo services for many airlines. The airport has mega capacity to contain 5.6 million passengers and 35,000 tons cargo logistics per year. The airside facilities are also prepared to contain wide-body aircrafts with 3,000 meter by 60 meter runway, supported by 22 aircraft parking stands, 6,000 kiloliters fuel storage with hydrant pits, that can deliver 1,050 kiloliters fuel per hour to aircraft. The airport rescue and firefighting category has been upgraded to grade A. Aligned with its technical excellence, the airport commercial facilities are being accelerated. The Cargo Village MICE Facilities three stars and five stars hotels an integrated building completed with car park and train stations are being built near the airport terminal in the other hand the mega aero city realization is undergoing the 3480 hectares aero city is ready to build where it is divided into several business clusters they are logistic hub aerospace park business park Creative Technology Center and Residential Town which are connected with Broadway and Automated People Mover System. Those clusters are aimed to support and accelerate the development of North Java Super Corridor and Rabana Metropolitan. The existence of Kertajati International Airport and Aero City would cover transportation and business needs for vast and majority areas around western part and half of center part of Java Island. 
by those abandoned features. Kertajati International Airport and Aero City is the truly Indonesia's leading business area to invest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's our th that is our uh, video profile, and uh, let's begin our presentation next. All right, firstly, um, let's talk about West Java. When we're discussing about this province, um, we have a lot of potentials. Let's say we have um, uh, industrial resources and also we have plentiful natural resources. And the most important thing that generates the economic development is uh, we have an enormous number of um, population. With nearly 50 million population of West Java, it can generate um, the economic development and we can also uh, contribute and has a, a major role to Indonesia's development. And also, as mentioned earlier by, by the governor of West Java, we have uh, almost 80% of uh, productive age in this province. And uh, that's what makes our province is really important and has an uh, in essential role in investment in Indonesia. Next. All right, this is uh, the Rebana Metropolitan Area, and we are very grateful that our airport, the Kertajati International Airport, is located in the eastern part of West Java, and we are included in this spatial area because the government, the government, especially the governor of West Java, are uh, committed to develop the region of Rebana Metropolitan Area, the region with uh, the blue color. So um, our role uh, will be so vital in connecting uh, all uh, and mobilize all of the logistics and also the um, industrial products uh, together with the seaports, the, part, the Patimban seaport and also the Cirebon seaport. Uh, and also the Urbana Metropolitan Area will cover uh, six uh, regencies in uh, West Java. Next. Yeah, this picture portrays more detail about um, the, uh, the Rebana metropolitan area. And it consists of 13 uh, KPIs or industrial area development, and one of them is Kertajati itself. And um, as I mentioned earlier, that, that uh, our airport is located in the heart of the area, the Rebana metropolitan area, so our location is really important and essential in um, the investment uh, climate in West Java. Next slide, please. All right, this is the description of uh, how to uh, reach the Rebana metropolitan area itself and especially to reach the Kertajati International Airport. So uh, we are very close um, and accessible to the important cities in Indonesia, including the capital city in, West, uh, in Jakarta and also in Bandung and Semarang, two, big, two other big cities in Indonesia. Next slide. And then who are we? Actually, PT Bandar Udara International Jawa Barat, as I mentioned before, we are a regional-owned company that is responsible for uh, constructing, managing Kertajati International Airport and Aero City. And we have uh, currently four shareholders, which are West Java Provincial Government as the majority shareholders, and also the Koperasi uh, Praja, Kopkar Praja Jawa Barat, PT Jasa Sarana, and PT Angkasa Pura II, as one of the biggest airport operators in Indonesia. And uh, the area of our operation covers more than 5,000 hectares, which includes uh, 1,800 hectares for the airport and also more than 3,000 hectares for the Aero City itself. Um, and the catchment area for our airport, including uh, most of the area of West Java itself and a little bit part of Central Java, uh, and I would like to also inform you about the key points of our airport uh, facts and figures, which includes um, 3,000 uh, length and 60,000 uh, meters wide of the runway, runway dimension. And we have uh, also the capacity for uh, 5.6 million passengers per year. And the last but not least, the most important thing is our airport is also um, officially been inaugurated as the uh, embarkation and uh, disembarkation of the uh, pilgrimage 
or Hajj and Umrah for uh, the West Java people. But unfortunately, since the pandemic hit the world, we uh, unfortunately we have to uh, postpone off all the Hajj and Umrah uh, plan for the future. Next slide. These are actually the legal, the legal foundation of our company, and we are very gra grateful that uh, we are uh, fully supported by both local and also national government. It's proved uh, by uh, the presidential decree or, or presidential um, regulation that supports us in national uh, midterm development plan, and also we have uh, West Java provincial regulation uh, and also PERDA. And last but not least is the presidential regulation concerning the acceleration of the development of Rebana area and the southern part of West Java that uh, has been inaugurated. Next. All right, this is um, actually the best picture to describe how you can reach our airport. Um, for the existing condition, we have a kilometer 158 exit to reach the Kertajati International Airport, but, but in the near future, uh, maybe in 2022, we have the new uh, exit toll, which is 157, kilometer 157, and also in the midterm, we will have um, the exit kilometer 152, which, uh, will, uh, which will reach directly the Kertajati International Air, the Kertajati Aero City itself. Next. All right, this is, um, this is the, uh, the picture uh, that uh, describe what can we offer to you. Well, actually, we have two um, investment opportunities, which are uh, the airport and also the Aero City. And in the airport itself, uh, we will have uh, maintenance, repair, and overhaul, MRO, and also the cargo village. And for the Aero City itself, we offer uh, five clusters, which are aerospace park, residential, creative technology center, business park, and logistic hub. Next. These are the detailed features of uh, our uh, aerocity, which uh, one of them uh, have a very wide area. Uh, so uh, there is a logistic hub with uh, more than 500 hectares and so on and so forth. Yeah, next. Yeah. For the first phase of the development of aerocity, we offer the utilities management. So we will have uh, clean water, wastewater, solid waste, electricity, and telecommunication. And um, it will be divided into three phases of the development. So it's also included to, uh, to be something that we can offer to the investors. Next. All right, uh, this is the key investment highlight of the Aero City itself. We have um, to in total 956 million US dollar for the investment uh, value. And also the, the financial feasibility itself, we have NPV for uh, 1,074 million uh, uh, rupiah. And for the IRR, we have approximately 12.04% uh, 12, 12 uh, and the payback period for 20 year. And um, this also the phases of our development. In phase one, we have interchange and main road, and then clusters uh, business park. And then the second phase, we will have cluster aerospace park and logistic hub. And the third phase, we have uh, creative technology center and cluster residential. Next. All right, we proceed to the investment uh, opportunity for the airport itself. Currently, we are opening the, the opportunity to build the uh, Maintenance, Repair, and Overhaul, or MRO. Uh, well, what is MRO? MRO is actually a facility to uh, repair and also to maintenance and also to put uh, the aircrafts, uh, one of the facilities that is provided in the airport itself. And we are very grateful that um, the data in Indonesia shows that um, the aircraft ca carrying out uh, MRO activities in Indonesia is 54%. And 
Indonesia is also reaching India for the MRO market annual growth forecast, um, nearly 10%. Uh, and our total area of the MRO is uh, 84.2 hectares, which uh, have the investment value of uh, 2.5 trillion, and the IRR 19.79% with NPV 1.8 trillion rupiah and payback period approximately 11 years. We offer the business scheme for land rent and revenue sharing and we, we can discuss it um, further after uh, the presentation or in the, future, in the next future. Uh, next slide, please. All right, the second one is Cargo Village. Um, Cargo Village is actually an integrated um, facility for uh, uh, the airport and also all of the cargo activities. Um, they, uh, they connect uh, all of the uh, important stakeholders in cargo activities. For example, we will have the uh, airlines office, we will have the regulated Asian and also the warehousing and so on and so forth. And um, because we are supporting the development of Rebana metropolitan area, so the existence of this cargo village will be very important and essential. So we have uh, 68.4 hectares for the area and uh, 1.3 1 trillion um, rupiah uh, investment value. And we have IRR2, uh, uh, 22.58. 8% and NPV 541 billion uh, Indonesian rupiah and payback period for approximately 11 years, uh, similar as the previous project MRO. And also we offer the similar business scheme as MRO, which is land rent and revenue sharing. Next slide, please. All right, this is the key investment highlight for the airport itself. Um, and uh, we are very welcome to um, discuss more about our investment opportunity. Uh, do not hesitate to contact us, especially contact me directly, uh, because we can answer all of your questions. Uh, next slide, please. All right. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, and I would like to, um, to summarize all of this uh, presentation. I would like to um, say that uh, we are very grateful to be here. And um, as mentioned earlier, earlier this morning by the governor, the Kertajati and also the Rubana Triangle, Rubana Metropolitan Area is our future. So we invite you, we invite all of the investors to be part of the story of our future. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.